My name is Lauren of Malaprop's Bookstore Cafe in Asheville, North Carolina. And today we are very happy to be hosting a signing um, with Joe Cobb Crawford, uh, who is one of our delightful local regional um, authors who we are uh, always hosting and always glad to have here as part of our author program. When the Chickens Come Home to Roost is a murder mystery. The main character and heroine of the story is Dottie Snodgrass. Dottie was born and raised in New York City. She marries a Jewish dentist. They have a young daughter. And then they move south to Blue Ridge, Georgia. It's near the poultry capital of the world. The setting for the book is Southern Appalachia and the timing is the 1960s. When they move to Blue Ridge, Dottie feels like she's landed on another planet. She has problems adapting to her new culture. For those who have read my first book, The Poetry Company, Memoirs of a Chicken Catcher, the characters are also found in this book. The chicken catchers, as you may recall, they were a rough and rowdy group. Their job was to load the chickens at night onto chicken trucks. In her adjustment to the South, Dottie is immediately linked to two mysterious killings. She must become a detective. With a little help from her friends, she quickly solves two cases. The beginning chapter entitled Double Yoked has two unusual killings, and Dottie solves both of those cases. I think you will find When the Chickens Come Home to Roost equally entertaining and, and uh, amusing as was the poetry company. When the Chickens Come Home to Roost. It's a murder mystery. It's a story about a lady who was born and raised in New York City. Uh -huh. She moves south with her husband who's Jewish. Uh, she's Catholic. She drives this car around that uh, it's called the Pink Panther. Oh, this, oh yeah, yeah. On the dashboard, she has Mother Mary on it, so that makes all the Baptists mad. Oh yeah. And so she, uh, she, uh, she has her problems of getting accepted. <laughs>